Okay, fifth time recording this. Welcome guys to my next Let's Play, Get a Life. You are Alexander Zemlinsky, suffering from leukemia for four years, etc, etc, etc. Your sister is a biologist and takes care of you in her apartment. You are a maintenance technician at the city subway, and it's time to go to work. Trust me, this game's a lot more exciting than you think it is. Because in this game, leukemia gives you superpowers, apparently. You'll see soon. So yeah. Just a um, teenage boy or adult, I don't know what, how old are you, honestly. But you're a subway technician, I mean, can't be all that young. So, let's get this started, shall we? Let's get to work. Once I wake up. Alright, let's go. Get a life. That is the name of the mod. You can get it for free. As long as you have Half-Life 2 and Episode 1 of Half-Life 2, you could play this. It's, um, yeah, it's well-made mod. Um, I just have one main pet peeve about this game. Oh, man, that scared me. But, anyway. So, Half-Life 2 mod. It's a pretty well-made game, even the music's custom-made, everything like that. But, my main irritation, pet peeve, however you want to call it, about this game is that, from beginning to end, there are just some things that shouldn't explode that just do. They just explode for no reason. And it really kills the the subtleness of the game. This isn't subtle, that's actually kind of creepy. But, um, okay. This kind of confused me at the very beginning of the game. Like, everything looks normal and everything. But in order to get to the subway, this is how you go to work every day. Which puzzles me to this day. You go in this alleyway. You climb the invisible ladder here. And then you fall in the hole. That's how you get to work every day. Not exactly... It's not the best way to advance the story, but... I guess it works. I don't know. This mod got really good ratings because it's really well made, but... That's kind of counterintuitive. Yeah, the treatment... Um, yeah. Since he has leukemia, he has to get treated for that, but apparently they've been giving him a little something more. So, after that little cutscene, um, swing the mouse around until you could find the doorway. Yeah, this game likes dark spots and other things like that. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, let's get to the subway, shall we? Yeah, music's okay. Um, later on, during the Let's Play, I might substitute this music for my own, but that's a big maybe. And for some reason, I cut out my recording. I don't know why. This perhaps doesn't like this game for some reason. God knows why. But let's continue. All right. Take the subway to work. That's how we get to work every day. Take the subway. Um. Yeah, you even sit down in these. It doesn't look like you're sitting down, but you'll notice that your movement's really like erratic. Um, as it sits down, cool. It's like, yeah, gliding across the seats. You are Alexander Zemlinsky, baby, and you have leukemia. That's awesome. At least in this game, you're, you'll see later on how 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 some guy with leukemia can completely kick ass of a secret agency that's after him. Also, I think there's zombies, uh, I think there's zombies. Whatever, I think I'm spoiling it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go up. Whoa. Yep, that's us, and we need to fix whatever problem that may be. I'll say this much, though, the voice acting in this game really sucks. Um, I'm pretty sure this game was originally for French people, but when he transferred it over to English, the way they talk, it just sounds like they have cotton balls in their mouth, and you can barely make out what they're saying sometimes, because half the time they're mumbling. Sometimes they're going, I don't know, something like in slow motion. I'm being nitpicky, but a lot of games could work on their voice acting. This is one of them. But then again, this is a free mod, I should not be complaining for free entertainment, and sh so should you, as this is posted on the internet, for free. 
going through a game for free. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah. So, just riding the subway to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are a technician. We are an awesome technician, may I add. I guess because we have leukemia and we'll, we'll kick certain ass in the future. I don't know if I haven't cursed enough in this damn thing. But I might curse a lot, so if you're offended by that, my bad. But that's just how I roll. That's a hobo. A drunken hobo. Let's go. Central job. Going down. Going over here. Gonna go through this door by pressing this. Let's go through here. Go over there. Okay, I just realized every time I hit a loading screen, the recording will cut, so I have to continue it. So, let's continue. Whoa. Okay, I pretty much know where to go. I played this game about a year ago, I think. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to get surprised by the random crap that's going to fly at me. Or explode, like I said earlier. This game loves explosions. Don't know why, it just has a fascination about everything you've ever known and loved exploding violently. Oh yeah, here's your your first so-called weapon, it's a flashlight. The alternative alternative fire is basically a flashlight. The primary fire, which you will be using a lot in this game, sounds like a flare. You can barely see crap with that flare, but you know what? It's better than nothing, I'll be honest. This game's really freaking dark. I forgot where to go. Um, no, no, here, all right, here, let's go, and my roommates are staring at me, I think, yeah, <laughs> say hello to the internet, they say hello, oh god, porn, oh god, um, oh yeah, you can crouch in this game, huh? Okay, keep going, keep going. It's really effing dark. Still effing. Oh god, okay, that scared me for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, take note. Every Remember how I said everything explodes in this game? You are a technician, you know, you do everyday stuff. You know, you're gonna fix this shizzle, and guess what's gonna happen? Take a wild guess at what's gonna happen. You fix this shit every day. And you know what? This happens every day. Explosions, falling pipes, more explosions, fire. On the job of a leukemic technician. Subway technician, may I add. Hopefully, nothing else will kill me. But, yeah. I don't even know why sometimes in this game. But, yeah. That killed me quite a few times before because the first explosion and the second one. Didn't really expect it. Okay, turn on. Or don't turn on. Um, gotta go through this door. Whoa, that turned off for no reason. Um, yeah, just. So, so, for some reason, that's turning off by itself. I don't know why. Stupid, stupid game. What the heck? Okay, I'm having a little technical difficulties with my flashlight apparently, but let's continue. Continue. Yeah, god dang it. Buy a better mouse. Okay, let's go through here. That keeps turning off. Whoa, that's a door. Uh, that keeps turning off. Um, it's getting dark. And I think I'm dead. Yeah, just a little dead. Yeah. <laughs> 